Hi everybody. Well, this is going to be a video about the um, Sailor Moon t-shirts, some of the new ones I have. So it's just going to be a little update about them. I am going to just show off the other t-shirts I have, so you give me an idea of what kind of t-shirts are out there. Um, some I do have that I bought from eBay, so they're kind of vintage. Um, I'm not going to show off the quarter length sleeve shirt or the uh, hoodie. This is just going to be the t-shirts I have. But okay, let's get started. I'm just going to grab ones from the stack. I don't even know like which ones these are, really. I'm going to grab them. I have them all laid out. Alright, this one is an older one. It's one that I bought uh, on eBay. I don't know who originally made this. Um, I assume it's an official shirt because it does have the copyright and everything at the bottom so but it says uh, fruit of a loom lofties on the tag so there's no like sailor moon logo or anything but it, it's really well made I've washed it several times it's high quality silk screening so so yeah that's it um, the only problem I have with it is there is some stains on it which I've never actually attempted to get off but um, one of these days, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's a rather old shirt. So, there's that one. This is one of the Hot Topic shirts, or one that was sold by Hot Topic. This is Sailor Saturn. Now, the only problems I have with these shirts is because of the thinness of them. Like, the silk screening kind of gets kind of... Um, ruffled, I guess you'd say, or folded easily. So, um, I usually don't, uh, dry these in the dryer because of that, so I usually just lay them out and let them dry on their own. Um, with this one, it is already starting to crack a little bit on the thinner silk screening parts, but it does have the logo here. I usually get a, uh, medium to large, depending on the shirt. Um, large is preferably my size because uh, they, since they are thin, they do shrink a little bit. This is another one that was sold by Hot Topic. This one is Sailor Neptune. Try to straighten it out here. It's hard to do with one hand. This is Sailor Neptune. I was not lucky enough to get the first Sailor Neptune shirt that came out, which was blue. I would have absolutely loved to have it, but because it was so awesome of a shirt, it sold out, like, immediately. And sadly, they never restocked. I guess the company d didn't make any more, so that was really, really depressing. <laughs> and I've never seen one for sale on Amazon or eBay, so never been able to pick it up. A lot of the shirts are either black or white. Um, I do have a few gray shirts. So that one was really nice since it was really like an aqua blue that matched uh, her symbol here. So this is still a rather beautiful shirt. I love the design of her um, her, t her planet attack. So it's a really nice shirt and it does have the logo up at the top. Next, uh, oh, I guess one of the shirts are in here, the quarter length shirt, so I guess I will show that one off. I thought it was still in my closet. This one, um, this one's Sailor Neptune and Uranus on the same shirt. This one was two for one. I never bought the Uranus single shirt, basically because she was already on this one, so. And I, I like this one better. It's a little wrinkled from being folded in my dresser, but. Yeah, it's a really nice looking shirt. This one was sold by Hot Topic as well. It's got the retro 80s looking logo on it. But it's really nice. And it does have the logo up at the collar. And here's the quarter length sleeve one. I didn't think I had this one out, but I guess I did. This is the only quarter length sleeve one official shirt that I've seen. I'm 
trying to get it straightened out here. <laughs> it's not easy with one hand. So yeah, here's this one. It's a group shot. Tuxedo mask on which is kind of rare. And this one does have the logo and the collar too. And it does have it in the yeah, image as well. This one I think was one of the two first shirts that Hot Topic had. This one's uh, this one's kind of faded because I've wore it so many times. I don't know if anybody else has this shirt and has the same issue, but they're really really cracking. The black's kind of coming through. That's why I don't really like this black. Such a dark color with such a light image on it. What happens? But it's a pretty image. And then it does have the logo at the top. This was one of the ones that FYE sold. They sold two shirts and this was one of them. I don't think I bought the other one. I think I just went with this one. These are really wrinkled. <laughs> Um, it, yeah, this is like the same kind of image as on the hoodie. Same picture, just full body. And it is gray, so it's pretty nice. I don't think I've worn this one very much. But it's not because I haven't, I don't like it or anything. And it does have the logo on the collar as well, that one. This one I really loved when I first got it, and then I washed it one time, and Luna started fading, so I've never washed it again since, or wore it, so. It's kind of sad. I would love to get this replaced, but of course, as a lot of the newer, or the first batch of shirts that came out a few years ago, they never restocked, so I couldn't get another one, but. It says, we're perfect together. As you can see, it's got little white spots. I washed this one time, and it started fading. I don't know if this is off of Artemis rubbing up against her in the washing machine or what, but yeah, it sucks. <laughs> but this one also does have the logo and the collar as well. Yep, this one. This one's also. Um, one that got sold by Hot Topic. This one for such a large silk screening actually is one of the better ones I have. you think there'd be a spot somewhere or something wrong with it, but it's actually fine so far. From what I can tell. It's really retro 80s looking kind of design behind her and stuff. But it is a really nice looking shirt. And it does have the logo right here, so... And this one was one of the other first shirts that came out. This one's actually white. They sold out so much of these because they were so new. There were like no other places to get merchandise at the time, so it's really hard to find my size in this. So I actually got an extra large. So this one's actually a little bit bigger, bigger than the normal shirts that I usually buy. But it does have a similar logo or image that. Uh, it's on the hoodie, as well as the gray shirt. And it does have the new logo on it. And See, this one's extra, extra large. That's how like different it is, but I wanted it, so... <laughs> I was like, well, I'll just take whatever size I can find, I guess. As long as it fits, and it's not as small or something. Then there's this shirt. Um, there's actually a few uh, other shirts, as well as a tank top and a sweater that just came out. Actually has a similar picture like this one on it, but instead of got the it's got the uh, heart brooch on it instead. This is the only shirt I probably will buy from these. I really don't like how cheaply the design is made. The um, the collar doesn't go all the way up. Um, the neckline's kind of goofy. I don't know. To each their own, I guess. Other people might like these and not really mind them, but. I don't know. Probably would have been just cooler had they just kept the bow. If you just put the bow on there and not really the collar and the choker and stuff, I think it would have been better. 
but yeah there's that one it does have the logo like the rest of them and this one here this one's actually purple <laughs> but yeah this one was uh, also sold at Hot Topic this has Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon on it or Chibi Yusa on it with Luna P and has the logo at the bottom and it does have the official logo there as well on the collar. Alright, this one here. This is one of the newer shirts. I just bought this one maybe a couple months ago. This is a um, uh, S season shirt. Which I absolutely love the S season, so I really, really like this picture here. I see it fading, probably like the other black one I showed. It already looks like it's probably going to do that. Another thing I noticed when I first bought this shirt was the inside was kind of sticky because of the silk screening, but I have washed it once, so that actually went away. So it does have the the logo on the collar like the rest. And this one I think is a vintage shirt, I do believe. Yeah, this one's an old 90s one. I'm not sure who made it. It's really, really faded. <laughs> you can just kind of tell, and the image is really small on the shirt. As you can see, there's no official name brand really at all, other than whatever this is. It's not familiar to me. But, yeah. It, the silk screen is okay, though. It's not really cracking or anything. Or it's age. That's actually one that I made. <laughs> it's not really official. <laughs> this one here. This one's official. 90s shirt. There's nothing really official about the collar, though, but in the silk screening itself, it does have the copy right here and it's actually a really good quality silk screening so not really cracking much and this one here this one I actually remember seeing this at Hot Topic way back in the 90s so this one's really old it is cracking a little bit but it, it does have the copyright here on the side and this is another one of those. I've never heard of that t-shirt company before in my life. But, but yeah. These are really thick shirts, too, which is different than the ones coming out now. Alright, this one's one of the official ones. Uh, this one came out being sold by Hot Topic as well. This one's not very old, either. I think I've only had this a few months. It's one of the ones I think I ordered from Hot Topic. It's got Luna on it. This one's actually... Yeah, this one's a lot better than the other one, I think. The other one I had with Luna on it. So I was glad I at least had a shirt with Luna on it. It's not tore up. It does have the logo up there. This one's a fairly new shirt as well. This one's got... Pluto on it. Yeah, she's holding her garnet orb. It's got her name at the bottom. And it does have a copyright logo up here. It's a nice shirt. There was actually a of another um, Pluto shirt as well, but I kind of missed out on that one because it was like the first Pluto shirt that came out. This one, I don't know who made it. I, I assume this Delta Pro weights, but it's kind of questionable. <laughs> but uh, it's a really uh, rare type shirt. I've never actually seen anybody else own this shirt, but if you have it, let me know. I'd be curious to know. This one I did buy on eBay, um, with a few other shirts that I've shown off probably already, but, uh, yeah, I really like this shirt. 
It's uh, really unusual. <laughs> and then there's this one. Um, I do have some questions about this one being official or not. Because you don't normally see any shirts of the Sailor Star se season. So that's what kind of makes me think it's not official. But it does have the the Delta Pro weights like the other one I showed off. And the silk screening is pretty good. It's just the image is really small and low to the neckline. Which kind of makes you think it's not official. So there's a possibility. I've actually, I don't think I've ever really wore this shirt because it's... It, position of the silk screening is just odd from the neckline so don't really care for that one this one's actually a tank top this one's an actual um, official um, popular vintage uh, tank of Sailor Moon um, it has glittery I don't know if you can really tell in the camera here but um, there's glitter in the Sailor Moon logo the tag is kind of faded, doesn't really have anything Sailor Moon like on it anyways, but the copyright is right here. Do you know a couple people that actually has that? Then I have this one here. This one I know is official because it does have the copyright in the image right here. But it doesn't really have anything here. It'll give you an indication of um, who might have made it. I don't know if that's the people that actually made the t-shirt. Or they did the soul screening too. So you never really know with that. And the last ones I am going to show off are actually ones I just got. They're really new. So... I've never actually shown these off in a video before, I don't think. At least that I can remember. <laughs> That's a chibi version of Moon, Mercury, and Mars. And it does have the logo up here. So these ones were sold by Hot Topic as well. This one is actually the GoHastings.com shirt. The only one that they have for sale and I'm surprised after all these months of it being on there they actually have more of them but I think it's because of the misleading way that they're advertising them. They have them at the, in youth sizes. Well this is a large but it fits me as a medium. So if you plan to get um, you want to get one of these that gives you a little indication of what uh, the sizes run so this one is a large and I usually get about a medium large anyways and it fits me perfectly so and the material is thin it's like the other ones but it's white which I like and it's got a really pretty image on it and this is an official shirt so I got this shirt for 10 bucks, which included the shipping, so it was like a really awesome deal. <laughs> I was really happy with that purchase, because a lot of these shirts are like 25 bucks, so. And this is one of the newest new ones by, or being sold by Hot Topic, so. This is a V-neck shirt. This has got the same image as one of the other t-shirts that came out, but. I like this one. I'm glad I didn't buy that one. I just went with this one because I like how it's zoomed in. It's got the gold on the moon part. Extra stars. Stuff like that. And it is a, a v-neck. So. It is a really nice shirt. So yeah. These are all the shirts that I have. Um, like I said, I got the hoodie too that came out by Hot Topic. But, uh, but uh, I'm not really showing that one. There are other ones. There was a Sailor Mars shirt that came out, a um, tank top, which I really didn't like the the way it was made. It looked kind of too large for a skinnier type person, but I don't know. It's just me, and it had the um, 
her suit looking type image like the other white one I showed off and they did come out with a new uh, sweater that just released uh, about a week ago my uh, Hot Topic actually got it in it's a white uh, sweater and it has the that image on it but it's got the the uh, S season brooch on it instead so so yeah let me know if you got any of the new shirts what you what you think of the quality of them I think it varies from shirt to shirt some of them are better silk screens than others which is kinda odd because I guess they're mostly made by the same company at least the ones that are coming out from uh, Hot Topic so I don't know I really don't wish they were a little thicker because it would hold the silk screen a little better but that's just me. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you liked the video, and um, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.